So Apollo.io has a, it's got an amazing um, uh, database of contacts, 265 million contacts that you can search for. You then have uh, these automations where you can um, add people, enroll people in sequences so to automatically send them emails or send yourself reminders to do certain things. And then you also have this sort of enrichment feature where you can add notes and track your interactions and make commentary and things like that. So at your fingertips, you kind of have like a CRM, but a little bit more fit for purpose. I, my CRM, it's it houses information, but it's not really designed to be used in this way for this engagement. And this is free. This is what I like about it most. It doesn't cost anything. Certainly for entry level, it's free. There's advanced features that you can pay for if you want, but we'll get to that in a moment. So here's what it looks like. Here is the... Um, the homepage is nothing special. It's just, you know, onboarding and dashboards and stuff like that. But I haven't barely used it. So there's nothing to show you there. But this is the database. You can see 263 million. Now, are they all accurate? Maybe not. People have changed roles. Maybe the contact information isn't accurate, but it's a good place to start. So I'm going to say search for a director of customer success. You know, you, you've got a bunch of filters um, and you can choose which ones you want to use, which ones make sense based on your ideal customer profile. Uh, so I'm just going to pick this, Director of Customer Success. Uh, let me say location is United States and the United Kingdom. They're my two primary markets. I mean, I work with clients all over the world, but they're my major two. And let's say because I'm focused on a department, <clears throat> not the whole business, I need a reasonable number of employees because you know if I'm looking for a customer success team, then I need a reasonably large company in order to have a team. Otherwise, it's just going to be one or two people, which is not my market. I want I want people with a team. So now let's return this list of customer success directors. I've got some filters here where you can descend or ascend the results for the sake of time. Let's just pick Josh. So if I right click on Josh, we will go straight to his LinkedIn profile where I can then take a quick look and see, oh, okay, well, is he a valuable prospect? Is he somebody that might fit my profile? Um, <clears throat> he's a director of customer success, tick. He is uh, active on LinkedIn, only posted a week ago, so tick. And he's reasonably new to the role, which is ideal for my particular programs, but obviously been with and, and reasonably new to that, that business as well, one, one year and seven months. So overall, fits the bill nicely in terms of at least an initial prospect that I might be interested in learning a bit more about. Now you'll see on the right here that this, um, this has opened up this dialogue box and it automatically popped up so that I can then search for additional information if I want, you know, uh, ac activities, email address, that type of thing. But let's say I think, great, Josh is somebody I'm interested in out, reaching out to at some point. I can save the contact, which is now going to save it to Apollo. And I can enroll at this point, if I wish, I can enroll Josh in a sequence. So let's just do that just to demonstrate. So I've already got a sequence for an event. So let me add that now. <clears throat> And I might want to uh, edit the contact stage. So just say, okay, uh, cold. Literally at this point, I've done nothing. I've just <laughs> added him to Apollo. And then I can add him to this list if I wish as well. Let's get rid of that. So my outbound list. So straight away, I've started to cu curate these contacts into lists. I've identified whether they're cold, warm, approaching you know, the stage of engagement. And I can then you know, take it from there. So I could do this multiple times. I can go backwards and forwards and quickly create a list of potential prospects. So now let's go to uh, lists, your uh, sequences, I mean. So when we talked about sequences, I have already created this one called Event Outreach. Very simple sequence. All it is is an email to let them know I have this event tomorrow. In fact, and you're invited. I'll come to that in a moment called Overwhelmed to Optimized. So let's just take a quick look at it. This is the email. You can see it's got this little... Uh, tag, first name, so it will automatically populate Josh's first name. Uh, you know, you can see here, it gives you an example of how it's going to look. So it looks nice. Apollo integrates really well with um, uh, Outlook, uh, Exchange Server, I mean, Gmail, uh, CRMs, I think Salesforce and HubSpot. But in any case, uh, I can very quickly set up my email integration and I can instantly invite Josh to my event tomorrow. 
I've set this up, you can see here, I've got a delay of 30 minutes. I've added that just because I don't want to accidentally send him something and then think, oh, I mean, add him to a list and then think, oh, geez. You know how when you lock yourself out of the house, you know instantly after you've locked yourself out of the house that your keys are still inside. It's a bit like this when you're adding people to sequences and events and lists. You're like, oh, hang on, did I get that right? So I like to have this little delay there. But uh, that's essentially sequences, right? You can make different types of these depending on different triggers, different events, up to you. All right, so now if we go back to Josh's profile on LinkedIn, I'm just going to refresh this. You'll see that automatically the um, the Apollo dialogue box is going to pop up. Now you can see it's populated that he's in a sequence. So if I forget who I've enrolled in sequences and I'm not sure who I've reached out to and want to stay in touch with, anytime I go on LinkedIn, this is going to pop up and remind me and go, oh yeah, actually, I have started to reach out to Josh, I've just forgotten. Uh, you'll see under activities, it says I've now scheduled an email to Josh. I can add notes about things that I'm working on with Josh that I sent him a message on LinkedIn or that he replied to me on something, I can pin it to the top. So straight away, you've kind of got this mini CRM and even as you navigate LinkedIn, you'll automatically be reminded of what you've actually been doing with, with you know, your key contacts. And then directly from here, if I want to actually dig deeper into Josh as a contact and make more edits, I can go straight to Apollo and you'll see here, I can enrich the information, I can add more notes, I can look more at the company information, I can see existing contacts, sequences, related contacts, um, job postings, other stuff that's available inside of the uh, Apollo dashboard. So immediately you can see there's some really great applications for this as you're navigating LinkedIn. And what's more is that it is free. I think I mentioned that already, but if we look at the pricing here, you'll see you get basic sequence automation. So that's two, two steps. You get up to 250 emails a day. You've got email reply and meeting tracking and a couple of other things. But for $39 a, a month, which is around 468 a year, half the price of Sales Navigator, you have unlimited email credits. You can do 2,000 records at a time. You can do unlimited sequence steps. Uh, there's other fields like manual steps you can do. Let's have a look at this real quick, I'll show you. I don't have that right now, but if I was to uh, look at sequences, and I can add a step, and you see when I add the step, I can do automatic emails. I can just set a, a task to manually send an email. I can create a task to remind myself to give them a call, uh, an actual action, you know, send, an, send uh, leave a voicemail, comment on one of their posts, and then it's got some specific LinkedIn tasks, sending connection requests, sending messages. These ones are only available if you upgrade to the, the regular plan, which I'm thinking about doing because I really, really like this tool. So hopefully you can see that Apollo gives you like quite a lot of features for free to be able to nurture your, nurture your leads, nurture your clients or existing contacts, enroll them in some automation to help you, you know, stay in touch on a regular basis without having to remember and to kind of customize those automations depending on what your clients and your contacts and your prospects are interested in. And you can do it all for free. I absolutely love it. And if you want to upgrade, it's not 